What's up guys and in this quick tips video I'm going to be covering the micro warp drive cloak trick. My previous video also covered this topic but it was exhaustively long. I put it up on reddit and they pretty much all agreed that it was way too much explanation so I decided to make this into a quick tips video. Uh, I've already spent about 20 seconds explaining that so we'll go ahead and jump into it. So first things first this technique is reserved only for omega accounts because alpha accounts cannot use cloaks so alpha accounts you're gonna have to figure out something else. So the whole point of this is that um, if you're in a hauler other ships can also use this technique too as well, but if you're warping basically from gate to gate or gate to a dock, we're going to pretend like we just jumped through. This entire time while we're entering warp and this bar is going, we are vulnerable to ganks. People can lock us, they can scram us, they can scan down our ship. Uh, it takes us 75% of our maximum speed in order to enter warp. So this whole time we're building up speed, it's taken us a while to do that. Um, there is a workaround this though. All it takes is two modules for us to almost completely eliminate this threat. And so the two modules is a improved cloaking device, two in the high slot, and then a micro warp drive in the mid slot. And how we do that is by basically using these two modules. One module is actually pulling down our speed and the other module is actually pushing our speed anywhere to 500 to 600% depending on your skills. Okay, so you just jump through a gate just like this. And so what you wanna do is find your destination, whether it's a gate or a station. Uh, personally, I like to right click and then we're gonna go to align, cloak, then micro warp drive. So it's going to look like this. So you want to do is align, cloak, activate your micro warp drive. And then once that cycle gets towards the end of the micro warp drive, I like to, to turn it off right when it hits that tail end portion. Turn off your cloak and click dock or warp to. And as you can see, we basically skipped that entire bar. And so basically what we did was hit 75% of our speed, but we just did it cloaked. So essentially we just sped ourselves up so when we drop cloak we have enough speed to enter warp and just as a heads up you will have to use the proper size marker warp drive in order to hit 75 percent of your speed when you exit warp so right now we are using the terra which can only use a 5mn micro warp drive and so we'll actually end it at the same timing as we did um, previously and it's just not going to have enough speed to immediately hit warp when we drop our cloak so that usually means that the micro warp drive isn't giving us enough speed or you have to drop your cloak sooner, which will leave you open to ganks. But if you are using a micro warp drive that just isn't giving you enough speed to hit warp when you exit cloak, uh, what you can actually do is just align cloak, overheat the micro warp drive before you activate it. And this should give you enough speed to hit warp when you exit cloak, just like this. And we can even have the same timing as we did with the last ship. Also, as a final note, after you hit cloak, you actually have about five seconds to activate any non-combat module that you want. So uh, in this case, we're actually flying the Badger right now, and this ship actually gets so much speed, we can actually let our micro warp drive finish on cloak and dock pretty much at the same time. So um, if you guys have any questions about this quick tips video or how the micro warp drive works, throw it down in the comments below. Hope you guys learned something, and in the meantime, you guys fly safe.